Hi, my name is Tony Belias, and you're watching ILearnThings.com, episode 9, LibreOffice Mail Merge. This topic was suggested by uh, YouTube user J Jazz DSB. Thank you, Jazz DSB. I appreciate your uh, input very much. If any of you guys have any topics that I, uh, you would like me to cover, please feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message, and I will be more than happy to do so. So today we're going to learn how to do uh, mail merge in LibreOffice by playing a fun game of Mad Libs. Uh, here I have open a um, passage in in a LibreOffice document um, of the Art of War by Sun Tzu. These words in red we're going to replace by uh, random let words that we pick based on the type of word that goes into that space. So whenever you're working with mail merge, you have two different components. You have the document that you want to um, create multiple copies of. Usually, uh, each copy will have its own uh, name or address, or you're going to customize it somehow. And then you have the data source, which is uh, what you're going to put into this document. So here I've created a spreadsheet. And I, for each column that I have here in this table, we're going to insert one word uh, into this LibreOffice document. So, for example, we have a person. Uh, right now I have two entries into this table. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to put my own name. So, Tony Pelias. Type of conflict. We're going to say a, uh, a disagreement. Uh, part of life. We're going to say old age. Adjective. We're going to say uh, delicious. Number will be 54. Noun will be uh, bicycle. No, we'll say uh, we'll say car. Okay, and location will be school. All right. So now we have a table with three different records. Each one of these is going to create a new document based on this template that we set up. Uh, now, in this particular case, I'm just using uh, different types of words. Um, m most of the time, mail merge is used for merging uh, address records into a document. So if you have a letter and you want to personalize it by adding a person's name and address to each uh, copy of the document without having to retype the whole thing, uh, you can use mail merge. But mail merge can be used for a lot of other things and that's why I wanted to do a, a fun game of Mad Libs to teach you how to use it. Okay, so now we have the two items that we need. We have the table and we have the document. So how do we combine these two together? Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is convert this table into a data source for LibreOffice. And how do we do that? Well, well the, the easiest way that i found to do it is to create a uh, database. So go ahead and open up LibreOffice Base. Or actually, let's save this document first. I'm going to save it into document folder so we know we are, where we can find it. Uh, let's see here, documents, and call it data source Mad Libs. I'll go ahead and save it there. And now we're going to create the database. So go ahead and open up LibreOffice Base. And you'll have a little wizard that pops up. What we're going to want to do is uh, not just create a new database, but we want to connect to an existing database. And this might not make sense because you don't necessarily think of the spreadsheet as being a database, but you can use it as a um, data source and a, or you can import it into the database. And all the records that we have here in this table in the spreadsheet will be imported into a table in the database. But instead of selecting the JDBC driver, we're going to click on that and select Spreadsheet because our source is coming from a spreadsheet. So go ahead and select Next. Then browse to wherever we saved that spreadsheet just now, which was in the Documents folder. It's called Data Source Mad Libs, what I decided to name it. So click on Open. Uh, click Next. And it's going to ask us if we want to register the database with LibreOffice. This is important because if you do not register the database, it's not going to be uh, visible in any other LibreOffice documents. So leave that at the default and click Finish. It's going to ask you to save it, so go ahead and save it in the Documents folder again. I'll call it Mad Libs Data. Hit Save. All right. So if you want to make sure that it got imported correctly, 
make sure you on the database column here select tables then uh, select sheet one or double click it and a new window will pop up let's show you the uh, table that was imported if you look at it it has the same data that was in our spreadsheet right there so everything seems to be working okay we can go ahead and close this database and open up our document again so here we have the passage from the art of war and what we're going to do is replace these words in red with these that we have in the spreadsheet. So how do we do that? Well, go up to View, select Data Sources, or you could also hit F4 if you like uh, shortcuts. And your um, data source will now be listed, or database, any registered databases you have will be listed here. So find the one that you just created, which the one we created was Mad Libs Data. If you can click on the little arrow and click on the tables, and uh, then we want to find sheet one, which was the table that uh, that we had our data in. So here you can see the table again. We only have three records. Uh, you know, more than likely, if you're doing this uh, for real, you might have hundreds, maybe even thousands of records that you need to import into a document like this. So now it's just a matter of putting these into here. And how to the way we do that is just click on the header. So in this case, we have the person. We're going to replace this word right here. You'll see it'll insert a field inside uh, brackets there. And we're going to go ahead and delete what was there before. And we'll just keep on doing this with the other columns as well. So we have a type of conflict that's going to replace war. Part of the cycle of life is going to replace death here. Adjective is going to replace neglected. Oops, I put it in the middle there, but just delete the old, old word. And keep on going here. Um, next word is war, which is going to be, we're going to use this conflict right there and just drag it down. Delete the word. Next one is the number. Just drag it down. Delete the word again. Uh, next one is noun, and drag it down, delete the word again, and the last one is location, just drag the header down, and delete the existing word. Okay, so now we have uh, these different fields in the document. Doesn't make any sense yet because we don't have these actual words. They're not populated in here, and the reason they show up this way is because you have multiple options that can go in here. For each letter, we're going to have, or we're going to have in this case, three different letters, and each one is going to have, for the person, is going to have either Abraham Lincoln, Pee Wee Herman, or Tony Pelias. Okay, so now we're ready to actually create the three different versions, and doing that is pretty simple. Let's save this one first. File save as sure we save it in the documents folder call it Sun Tzu Mad Libs save okay and to create the documents we're going to go to file print and a dialog will pop up asking us or telling us that uh, this document has database uh, records do we want to print it as a form we'll say yes and in the mail merge dialog, we can again verify the data that we have here, make sure we're using the correct data source. Uh, in my case, I'm going to output this into a file. Go ahead and uh, leave it as save as a single document and hit OK. Then it's going to ask us where we want to save it. But before we save it, I'm going to change the format. Um, Right now, the default uh, to save it would be in the same format that it currently is, which would be a um, open document format or ODF, but I'm going to change that to PDF. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and select PDF from the option here and save it as final Mad Libs. And go ahead and click the Save button. Takes a second, but uh, as soon as it's done, we can open up the Finder and navigate to the folder that we saved it at and find the final Mad Libs document. Okay, so here we have it. As you can see, we have the passage from the Art of Sun Tzu, and the first one here contains the name Abraham Lincoln. This document has three pages, so we know that it uh, has one page for each one of our records. 
The second one here has Pee Wee Herman, and the third one here has Tony Pelias. So there you have it. Doing mail merge in LibreOffice is pretty simple, and it can be very powerful, especially if you if you want to send documents to hundreds or even thousands of different records, and you want to create these automatically. So that'll do it for this episode, and I'll see you next time.